Hello friends. Now in this video, we will see first of all representation of a rational number on number line. Then I will take exercise 1.2. Now see this here. You have learned to represent natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and rational numbers on a number line. Let us revise them. Okay. Now first of all the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 up to the infinity. That is the line extends indefinitely only to the right side of 1. This extends to the indefinite to the right side of uh, 1. Okay. Now next whole numbers and they start from w is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 up to the infinity. The first is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 up to the infinity. That is the line extend indefinitely to the right but from 0. There are no numbers to the left of 0. No numbers to the left of 0. Okay. Next integers. Now here the 0 to the right of 1, 2, 3 up to the infinity. And to the left of 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And therefore, here we say that the line extends indefinitely on both sides. Do you see any numbers between minus 1, 0, okay, and 1, 0, and 1, etc. There is no number between 0 and 1, 0 and minus 1, okay. Now, the next rational numbers. See this the line on this line 0, 1 upon 2 and then 1. Next to the left of 0, minus 1 upon 2, minus 1. The line extends indefinitely on both sides. But you can now see the numbers between minus 1, 0 and 0, 1, etc. You can see the numbers between these two, 0 and 1 and 0 and minus 1. Okay, next, uh, see this the airline. Uh, for this number line, 0 to 1, this part is divided into 3 equal parts and the value of the first part is 1 by 3. Second part is 2 by 3 and third part is a 3 by 3 and that is equals to 1. Okay. The point to be labeled is a twice as far from and to the right of 0 as the point label 1 by 3. So, it is 2 times 1 by 3 that is a 2 by 3. Here 2 by 3 and if it is a 3 parts then it is a 3 by 3. Okay, you can plot like this. Now next, if we extend this, okay. From 1 to again here uh, we will have the again part next part again this is next part and like this then the what will the next part it is a 4 upon 3 5 upon 3 next is a 6 upon 3 7 upon 3 like this we can plot this type of the numbers okay see this here uh, 0 and 0 to 1, there are the 3 parts, 1 to 2, 3 parts, three, uh, 2 to 3, again the 3 parts. That is, a, uh, we can represent 4 by 3, 5 by 3, 6 by 3, that is 2, 7 by 3 on this number line. Okay, what is here? This is the 4 by 3. Next is a 5 by 3, 6 by 3, 7 by 3. In this way, we can represent the number on this number line. Similarly to represent 1 by 8, the number line may be divided into 8 equal parts as shown in this on this number line. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. That is if I want to represent 2 by 8 then 2 parts that is 1, 2. Therefore this is the 2 upon 8. If I want to represent 3 by 8, then 1, 2, 3, then it is a 3 by 8. If I want to represent 7 by 8, then 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन देन इट इज अवन बाई एट ओके देट पर वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट ऑन दिस नंबर लाइक दिस नंबर ओके नेक्स्ट दीज आर दी नंबर फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन मेक दी एट इक्वल पार्ट वन बाय एट टू बाय एट थ्री बाय एट फोर बाय एट फाइव बाय एट सिक्स बाय एट सेवन बाय एट एंड एट बाय एट मीन्स वॉट इट इज अ वन ओके दिस इज द इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट द नंबर फोर बाय नाइन देन मेक दी नाइन इक्वल पार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन देन इट इज अ फोर अपॉन नाइन ओके दीज आर दी नंबर इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक टू रिप्रेजेंट एट द माइनस सेवन बाय फोर देन फ्रॉम माइनस वन टू माइनस टू वे हैव टू फ्रॉम जीरो टू माइनस वन वे हैव टू मेक दी फोर इक्वल पार्ट माइनस वन टू माइनस टू अगेन दी फोर इक्वल पार्ट एंड देर फॉर माइनस सेवन बाय फोर मीन्स वॉट विल काउंट हियर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड देर फॉर इट इज अ माइनस सेवन बाय फोर ओके इन दिस वे वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट दी नंबर रैशनल नंबर number lines here the denominator term is important from 0 to 1 if the number is uh, like this it is a 5 by 8 then to represent this 5 by 8 then we have to make on this number line from 0 to 1 okay we have to make eight, eight equal parts okay we have to make here eight equal parts and then we can represent the 5 by 8 means it is a fifth part fifth 1 2 3 4 5 and therefore the this number is a 5 by 8 and in this way you can represent this type of the rational numbers okay rational numbers between two rational numbers can you tell the natural number between 1 and 5 they are 2 3 4 okay it's a clear that the natural numbers between 1 and 5 how many natural numbers are there between 7 and 9 there is one and it is 8 how many natural numbers are there between 10 and 11 obviously it is a none there is no natural number between 10 and 11 list of the integers lie between minus 5 and 4 then the numbers are minus 3 sorry minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 1 0 1 2 3 okay how many integers are there between minus 1 and 1 0 is the integer okay how many integers are there between minus 9 and minus 10 no integer is between minus 9 and 10 minus 10 and next you will find a definite number of natural numbers okay between the two natural numbers or integers okay how many rational numbers are there between 3 by 10 and 7 by 10 okay it's a clear that 4 by 10 5 by 10 6 by 10 are the rational numbers between 3 by 10 and 7 by 10 okay but you can also write this 3 by 10 by 30 by 100 multiply it this numerator and the denominator by 10 then you will get 30 upon 100 7 by 10 again multiplied by numerator and denominator by 10 then you will get 70 upon 100 and then we can find out the numbers between 30 upon 100 and 70 upon 100 between these two that is the 31 upon 100 32 upon 100 and in this way 69 upon 100 all these are between 3 by 10 and the 7 by 10 and in this way in first case we have put these numbers 1 2 3 in the next case we have these all these numbers between 3 by 10 and the uh, 7 by 10 the numbers uh, number of these uh, rational numbers are 39 numbers we can have the 39 numbers and how, how many numbers are here 1 2 3 between 3 by 10 in this way we can extend this that is again if we multiplied n and d by 1000 and here you will get 300 upon 10000 if we again multiplied 
7 by 10 by 1000 then you will get 7000 upon 10000 and here again you will get the numbers 3001 3001 uh, upon 10000 3002 upon 10000 and in this way 6999 upon 10000 are between 3 by 10 and 7 by 10 these are 3999 numbers in all okay in this way we can go on inserting more and more rational numbers between 3 by 10 and 7 by 10 okay now next again this one more example minus 1 upon 10 and 3 by 10 again the rational numbers between them are 0 by 10 1 by 10 2 by 10 are the rational numbers between these given numbers again we can extend these numbers between these two numbers that is here we will multiply it to the numerator and denominator by 10,000 if we multiply 10,000 then to the numerator you will get 10,000 and denominator here you will get 1 lakh okay therefore minus 10,000 upon 1 lakh and here 3 by 10 again multiplied by 10,000 then you will get 30,000 upon 1 lakh okay and in this way you can get these numbers minus 9999 upon 1 lakhs and in this way these are the numbers between minus 1 upon 10 and the 3 by 10 okay in this way you will get the rational numbers between these two numbers okay you will find that you get the countless rational numbers between any two given rational numbers now next the example write any three rational numbers between minus 2 and 0 required the three rational numbers then how to get this now this minus 2 can be written as multiply this numerator and denominator this is a minus 2 means what minus 2 upon 1 multiplied n and d by 10 then you will get minus 20 upon 10 and this is a 0 okay 0 can be written as 0 by 10 then the three rational numbers are minus 19 upon 10 minus 18 upon 10 minus 17 upon 10 minus 16 upon 10 minus 15 upon 10 and in this way you will get all these the rational numbers between minus 2 and 0 okay find any t sorry any 10 rational numbers between minus 5 by 6 and 5 by 8 and we want to find out the 10 rational numbers and so that here we will multiply we we'll, we must have the base as a 24 so that to get the base as a 24 we have to multiply the numerator and denominator of minus 6 by 5 by 4 that is a minus 5 into 4 upon 6 into 4 then you will get minus 20 upon 24 and what about here 5 by 8 if you multiply here 5 by 8 by 3 then you will get 15 upon 24 and now we can get the 10 rational numbers between minus 20 upon 24 and 15 upon 24 thus we have minus 19 upon 24 minus 18 upon 24 minus 17 upon 24 and in this way the last number is a 14 upon 24 in this way we will get these 10 numbers okay now the next find the rational numbers between 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2 and for this we will find out the mean of these two numbers that is we will add this number and divide it by 2 1 by 4 plus 1 upon 2 okay make your uh, base as the same that is a 1 into 2 and 2 into 2 that will become 4 and add it then you will get 1 plus 2 upon 4 divided by 2 that is a 3 by 4 divided by 2 3 by 4 this is the 3 by 4 divided by 2 2 means what 1 upon 2 and this 3 by 4 multiplied and reciprocal you, you will multiply here and reciprocal of this then here you will get 1 upon 2 and that is equals to 3 by 8 here okay and this is the number 3 by 8 is the number between 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2 okay now see this here on this number line we have the 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 
we will find out the mean that is 1 by 4 plus 1 upon 2 divided by 2 then you will get 3 by 8 we find that the midpoint of AB which is C represent a number 3 by 8 and this 3 by 8 lies between 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2 if A and B are two rational numbers then A plus B upon 2 is a rational number between A and B such that A is less than A plus B upon 2 is less than B. This again shows that there are countless number of rational numbers between any two given rational numbers. Now next example find three rational numbers between 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2. Already we have find out the uh, mean of this 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2 which is 3 by 8. That is, uh, this 3 by 8 lies between 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2. Okay. And the first, here we have the 3 by 8. Next, we now find the another rational number between 1 by 4 and 3 by 8. 1 by 4 and 3 by 8. Again, we will find out the mean of 1 by 4 and 3 by 8. Okay. 1 by 4 and 3 by 8. 1 by 4 plus 3 by 8 divided by 2. And again, add these two. Make their base as the same. Multiply n and d by 2, then you will get 2 by 8 plus 3 by 8. That is a 5 by 8 divided by 2 means what? Again, multiply and reciprocal, you will get 1 upon 2. That is a 5 by 8 into 1 upon 2, 5 by 16. And again, 5 by 16 is a number between 1 by 4 and 3 by 8. And in this way, we can find out the numbers between 3 by 8 and 1 upon 2. That is a 3 by 8 and 1 upon 2. Add these two divided by 2. Again, make the base as the same. For this, we will multiply n and d of this fraction by 4. 4 into 1, 4. 4 into 2 means what? It will become 8. That is a here 2. If we, that is a here, 3 by 8 plus 1 upon 2. Multiply n and d by 4. 1 into 4. And here you will get 3 by 4 plus sorry 3 by 8 plus 4 by 8 and then here you will get 7 upon 8 here is a 7 upon 8 multiplied and reciprocal means what multiplied here and it's a reciprocal of 2 is 1 upon 2 then here you will get 7 upon 16 1 into 7 is 7 8 into 2 is a 16 and 7 by 16 is a number between 3 by 8 and 1 upon 2 and we can express on this number line also that is 1 by 4, 5 by 16, 3 by 8, 7 by 16 and 1 upon 2. Okay, these are the numbers between number 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2. And in this way, we have expressed this here number on this number line. It's a graphical representation. In the same way, we can obtain as many rational numbers as we want between given to rational numbers okay you have noticed that there are countless rational numbers between any given any two given rational numbers i will start the exercise 1.2 it's very simple represent these numbers on the number line the first number is a 7 by 4 that is the denominator is a 7 therefore this is the number line the first is 0 1 next is will be the 2. The denominator is a 4, therefore, we will make the four, e 4 equal parts from 0 to 1. First is 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, the next 4 equal parts between 1 and 2. And these are the next part. We require the 7 by 4, therefore, the 7 parts from the origin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is the 7 by 4 number we have represent on this number line now the next minus 5 by 6 the number is negative it means that it is a left of 0 okay the denominator has the 6 therefore from 0 to minus 1 we'll make the 6 equal parts the first a 1 2 3 4 5 6 what is the number minus 5 by 6 and this is a number minus 5 by 6 to the left of 0 okay next 
represent the number minus 2 upon 11, minus 5 upon 11, minus 9 upon 11 on the number line. It's a clear that the denominator has the number 11. Therefore, from 0 to minus 1 will make the 11 equal parts. The first number is minus 2 upon 11. All the numbers are negative. Therefore, it must be to the left of 0. First number is a minus 2 upon 11. Okay. Next number is a minus 5 upon 11. And third number is a minus 9 upon 11. In this way, we can represent these rational numbers on the number line. Now, the next question is very easy. Write five rational numbers which are smaller than 2. Five rational numbers smaller than 2. Then what will that? 1, 1 upon 2, 0, minus 1 and minus, of, minus 1 upon 2. Again, if we see this, the number line and this is the number 2. Five rational numbers smaller than 2. What will that? 5 by 3, 4 by 3, 3 by 3 means 1, 2 by 3, 1 by 3 and the 0. These are the rational numbers smaller than 2. Okay. Now the next is a find 10 rational numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 upon 2. Now to find out the 10 rational numbers. First of all, if I make their base as equal, if I make the base 10, then what will happen? That is a 2 into 2 upon 5 into 2. Then you will get minus 4 upon 10. And if you see 1 upon 2, again multiplied by numerator and denominator by 5, then what will you get? 5 upon 10. If you see this, minus 4 by 10 and 5 upon 10. We are requiring the 4, 10 rational numbers. That is a minus 3 by 10, minus 2 by 10, minus 1 by 10, then 0, then 1 upon 10, then 2 by 10, 3 by 10, 4 by 10. These totals are 8 numbers. Therefore, we will make here multiplied numerator and the denominator here so that we will get the 20. Therefore, we will make here we will multiply the numerator and the denominator uh, minus 2 by 5 so that we will get the 20 to the denominator and that's why we will multiply by 4. That is the minus 2 into 4 you will get minus 8. 5 into 4 you will get 20. Again to get the 20 to the denominator we will multiply 2 by 10 and 1 by 10 also then you will get 10 by 20. Now we can get the 10 rational numbers between minus 8 by 10 and 10 by 10 by 20. Okay. Then what are the numbers? Minus 8 by 20 and 10 by 20. The numbers are minus 7 by 20, minus 6 by 20, minus 5 by 20, minus 4 by 20, minus 3 by 20, minus 2 by 20, minus 1 upon 20, 0, 1 upon 20, 2 upon 20 and these are all the numbers. Okay. We can represent, uh, we, we will get these numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 upon 2. Now the next number, next question, 5. five. Now the next question, find 5 rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 4 by 5. We require the 5 rational numbers between them. If we make their base as a 15, that is, if we multiply the numerator and denominator by 5, that is a 3 into 5, and here 4 into 3, 5 into 3, then what you will get? 10 upon 15, and here 12 upon 15. Then we can't get the 5 rational numbers and that's why in this way we will multiply here the numerator and the denominator by the term 
20 that is multiplied n and d by 20 to the 2 by 3 and see this here if we multiply n and d by 20 that is a 2 into 20 upon 3 into 20 and here we require the for the denominator we require 60 and here we will multiply by 12 therefore 4 into 12 5 into 12 and that's why here you will get 40 upon 60 and 48 upon 60 now here you will get the 5 rational numbers between 40 by 60 and 48 upon 60. They are 41 upon 60, 42 upon 60, 43 upon 60, 44 upon 60 and 45 upon 60 in this way. Okay. Now the next is a, again find the 5 rational numbers between minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3 and to get this we will multiply n and d by the number such that you will get the five rational numbers between them now here we will multiply to the numerator and denominator of minus 3 by 2 as a 3 then you will get minus 9 by 6 and here you will multiply n and d of 5 by 3 by 2 then you will get 10 by 6 and the numbers are minus 8 by 6 minus 7 by 6 0 1 by 6 and 2 by 3 in this way and these are the five rational numbers next 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2 again to get the five rational numbers between these two we will multiply n and d by 8 of 8 uh, 1 by to the 1 by 4 that is 1 into 8 is 8 4 into 8 is 32 next is a uh, again to make the denominator as a 32 therefore we will multiply n and d of 1 upon 2 by 16 then you will get 1 into 16 is 16 2 into 16 is a 32 and here you will get the numbers 9 upon 32 10 upon 32 11 upon 32 12 upon 32 13 upon 32 and these are the numbers between five numbers between 1 by 4 and 1 upon 2 now the next question is also very easy write five rational numbers between uh, five rational numbers which are greater than minus 2 okay the uh, here minus 2 can be represented as minus 8 by 4 okay and therefore given a rational numbers greater than minus 2 can be written as minus 7 by 4 minus uh, 6 by 4 minus 5 by 4 minus 1 minus 3 by 4 in this way or if we represent the number line like this and divide this first part first unit part as a 4 second is also 4 and here as you are getting the minus 4 by 8 as a number and all these numbers which is a minus 7 by 4 minus 6 by 4 minus 5 by 4 minus 4 by 4 which is a minus 1 minus 3 by 4 and minus 2 by 4 minus 1 by 4 all these numbers are greater than minus 2 okay you can get this number of the rational numbers which are the greater than minus 2 now the next question find the 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4 again the question is that if you multiply if you take their lcm and the lcm is a 20 okay if you multiply by 3 into 4 and 5 into 4 what you will get you will get 12 upon 20 and for the next number 3 by 4 if you multiply by 5 and then you will get again that is a 15 upon 20 and now we can get we can't get the rational numbers between 12 and 12 by 20 and 15 by 20 as a 10 rational numbers we require the 10 rational numbers we cannot get if we take their base as a 20 for that we want to make their base as a 160 
okay and therefore here we'll multiply here the numerator and the denominator for the first fraction 3 by 5 we will multiply n and d by that is a 32 and then then you will get 66 upon 160 and for the another three number fraction 3 by 4 we will multiply it by 30 therefore here sorry not 30 that is by 40 that is a 3 into 40 you will get 120 4 into 40 you will get 160 and therefore we will get the 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4 that is a numbers are 66 upon 160 and 120 upon 160 and the numbers are 97 upon 160 98 upon 160 99 upon 160 and in this way the last number is a 106 upon 160 these are the 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4 okay and in this way we have completed this chapter that is the chapter number one rational numbers now we'll see then in the next video for the chapter number two then goodbye